Hello everyone and hello world! This is Teacher Dinah and I will be your guide in understanding the ICT skills. And if you are new to my YouTube channel, please don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Do not also forget to hit the notification bell so that you will be updated on my upcoming tutorial and educational videos. If you only have basic skills in using the computer, this video is for you. Especially so if you do not usually use a mouse. So why do we need to know the shortcut keys? First and foremost, if you are not used in using the mouse, this is good for you. Second, it will make your work easier if you know the shortcut keys. That's why it is called shortcut keys. To discuss our topic in this video, I will be using the Microsoft Word. And by the way, these shortcut keys can be used on the different features of Microsoft, such as PowerPoint presentation and also in the publisher. As you can see, we have the different shortcut keys that you can use in encoding. Actually, these are just the basics, okay? And I already encoded the text, the text that we will be uh, uh, using is this one, the document, practice makes perfect, practice makes perfect. And let's proceed to the first one. As you can see, we have control A. So what is this control A? It means you select everything that is in your document. Instead of using your cursor and dragging them and selecting them like this, all you need to do is just press Control A. How are you going to press it? You press hard Control A. Do not release your finger and then you select A. And then you both release your fingers. Now you already selected all the documents in here. So that's the shortcut. Next we have Control E. What is this Control E? If you want your, the text or the document to be in the center of the page, you can do that. Please do not forget to select first. Select first the text, the phrases, the document that you want to edit. Now, I will be selecting this. In selecting your text, it can be through the use of your mouse or it can also be the use of the keyboard. How? If it is in the keyboard, you just put or move the arrows there uh, before the first letter of the first word in the document and then you just press shift and then you have the arrows, arrow left, arrow right, and then down. Okay, that's it. It is on how are you going to select the text. And then this time, you just click Control E. The same as in Control A, you need to click first Control. Do not release your finger yet. And then you press A. Then you release, release them both. That's it. So in Control E, that is to make your document in the center. How about in uh, aligning the document on the left. So all you need to do is you copy again and then you just uh, press Control L. So it's there already on the light. Uh, it's there already on your left. How about if you wanted to put it on the right? It's Control R. Okay. If you want it justified, it's Control J. Actually, we are using the justified one if you have long paragraphs. Okay, and then we also have here, how about in making the text bold, italic, and underline? 
So in making it bold, all you need to do is just press Control B. For example, this one, the document only, Control B. If you want it italic, Control I. It's both bold and italic already. How about in this one? For example, you want it italic. You just press Control I. If you want it underlined, okay, it's Control U. I want to underline the document. It's Control U. Okay. Another one is we have the Control P. What do we mean by Control P? So Control P is for you to print instead of going there on the file and then choose the print and then setting it you can just press control p and it's there already you you just need to to put some details already in there next how about saving there are different ways on how are you going to save your document the first one is can you see this one we have here the disk you can click it so it's there already. You just choose the location if you want it under document in the downloads and so on. Then you can also change the file name. And then you just click save. Another one is by clicking again the file and then click save. Then they will ask you the location. Now if you don't want that one, you can just press Control S. Okay, that's it. If you press the control S, so this will be shown to you. All you need to do is to change the file name again. And then you click save. If it is your first time to save the document, they will ask you for the file name. But if, for example, you saved it already and you just added some information, all you need to do is pressing the control S. And when you're doing that, they will not ask you to write or put again another file name unless you make it as save as. Now, if you want the smaller fonts, you can use this one. Okay, you just follow it. If you want it smaller and smaller, you can do that. Another one, if you want it the bigger fonts, all you need to do is follow that and look for dot symbol there. Okay, and then press and press and press if you want it. If you want to make it smaller, okay, you just follow the signs or the symbols there. And then we have a copy. How are we going to copy? So in copying, you can do this. Let me try to copy the document, this one, and then right click. And then you click copy and then you put the cursor where you want to paste the document, the copy document. And then this time you will right click again and click paste. The shortcut here is control C and control P. Okay, so let's try to do that. Let us copy this and then let us press Control C. After pressing Control C, you just go to the place where you want it to be pasted. And then Control V. It's there already. So that's the use or the shortcut keys of the copy and paste. How about Z? That is for undo. For example, you don't want this and you want to return to your to the late the former. Um, former actions that you did, you can just click Control Z. Okay. <laughs> this is the same as here, the undo. So there you go. These are some of the shortcut keys, and I just hope you've learned something today. And thank you. There you go. Thank you so much for watching and I hope that you've learned something today. See you again!